Yo, what is going on guys? Calahandro here and welcome back to another episode of Magayon. In this episode, we're going to be building the Baywalk. And before we get started with the video, I'm going to be showing you what we're going to be building, like the original thing we're taking inspiration from in this video. So this is, what you're seeing here is an animation, a render, like augmented reality type of stuff. And this is like a better explanation of what I'm like hoping for. It's essentially a, a flood protection network for the entire New York City. But instead of like building a seawall, like a little wall around it, we're building, they're building this um, community space and they're either be, it's like architecture, I, I can't. I, get, I love architecture so much and you'd see here a lot of how architecture can be used to make a simple seawall be to look like this to look great to be a new public gathering place and as you see here that they just raised the land a little bit and it just and it's protecting the city from floods and that's amazing instead of like having like an ugly wall there and also they are extending the park network all throughout New York and especially here in Battery Park. We're also going to be doing that in Magayon. So yeah, I'm quite excited for that. The Battery Park type of thing is going to be on episode 20 where we're going to be doing the flood protection for the other signs. Yeah, so it's the dry line and the dry line is going to Magayon. Let's get back. Let's no, no, not back. Let's get into the video. No, let's finally get into the video because today we had that. You just saw me remove the old one because I actually had a live stream <laughs> out of nowhere. I, I did a live stream because yeah, my parents weren't home. I was home alone. No, I was with my sister, so I was like, oh, I should probably do like a live stream because there's no noise. And um, and, I, and I did, and the settings were crap. And, and yeah, the frame rate was like 10 FPS or something. I don't know. The, the frame rate should... The, actually, the frame rate of, of when I record or when I just play games is at an average, especially in the high detailed areas, 20 frames, 15. And when I'm like in empty spaces, it's like 40 50 but you know it's bearable because there is literally a ton of detail and what you're seeing here this one the park thing that i'm building the roads i built that i'm going to be building that in the next episode after this one so yeah uh subscribe so you would be notified and turn on the notification bell so you'd be notified whenever i upload that video so yeah i'm going to try and replicate the what what I just shown you a while ago, which is the Flood Protection Network. It's by Bjark Ingels. Once again, if you see the last episode, I've been talking about him and you I will be talking about him and his works even more in the future and other architects because I'm going to be an architect manifesting to be an architect. I'm not yet, but I will be hopefully. But yeah, I'm using the node controller to make this um, network smaller because yeah, the node controller is the best mod uh, right now, especially for building this. But a lot of you have been asking me why I'm not using procedural objects because here's the reason why. Um, I don't want to add a little, a bit more of complexity. I just want to make live, make. I um, know. I just want to keep the game. I don't want to add another level of complexity to the game. And I hope you'll understand that. Maybe in the future I will be um, implementing that. But for now, or in a in the near future I don't, I don't think so because we're already started but yeah uh even though we don't have procedural objects we still did something great and i think i did something great but yeah this is like i'm placing the the main bay walk which is like this eight meter wide pedestrian um thing but it used to be in my last live stream my first live stream so it was the first live stream of the first trial i was just figuring how things were gonna look like and i took inspiration from manila so here you go here's the bay walk in manila so you have this main like the one in the water and it's like a coconut tree thing in the middle of it and then it's back to the road so yeah i took inspiration from that but i was i was watching youtube and then I was watching, I was reading the comments while doing the live stream for the last episode, and then I saw that a lot of you guys, 
I no, I was watching the comments and then on my um, notifications or something, Bjark Ingels was there and I was like, oh my god, look. And then I remembered that he had this plan for New York. He he his team and Rebuild by Design had this plan for New York to build a protective barrier, but it should be like a park network. It should it should serve the local community. It's essentially a top down approach and a bottom to up approach together. It's amazing. I I'm gonna link you here down in the comments where where you can watch his video where he explains um, the big U or the dry line and if you want to get into an architecture binge, I highly recommend watching Bjark Engels Zahadid, which is what this like thing that I'm building here is kind of inspired from because Zahadid is famous for her like designs which are organic, flowy, beautiful, and it's just amazing to look at. When you study architecture because we had a minor in high school, it was a, a single subject because when we are like in the ninth grade, ninth and tenth grade, we, we could choose what we're going to specialize in so that when we go to child college, we have a little bit of knowledge on it. So some of my classmates went to IT, software, hardware, um, cookery and stuff. So I took technical drafting for two years and I had a blast. But, you know, it is what it is. And I loved architecture. and. After that, after I like learn how to like make plants and stuff. If you guys want to see my my drawings for my hotel, don't don't ask for that. They're like crap because I was just doing, I was just finishing it it off just to pass. But yeah, I was proud. I know how to like do stuff. So once you study architecture, you'd see what you can never see things the same way again. You know what I mean? Like when you look at a building and you look at things and you'd be like what is that what why is this here why is it like that why is the pillar why is it not aligned why is it Wh so yeah a lot of that is like the thought process behind Mugayon. it's sim similar like that but yeah the video paused for some reason i was thinking you know um planning ahead or maybe I was outside or something or I went to get get some water which you should probably do we're building a waterfront build so you should probably drink water because dehydration you would not want to be dehydrated because here in the Philippines it's so hot so hot that you're probably not seeing I would get copyrighted but yeah it's very very hot here in the Philippines so yes you should also drink your water because water is very important okay Yes, now we're doing this elevated thingy thingy so that the water won't enter the city and it's like a little mountain, a little hill. It's it's very fun. If if you if you like I was like going to first person uh along this route and the trail. Oh my god, the trail. I, if you want to watch if you want to see the bike biking me, if you want to see a video of a person biking through the Magayan Trail in the future. I will be doing that. But if you want to see like this segment right here and the next episode segment. Oh my god. I was walking through it. No, I was biking and it was very good. Very amazing. Very nice. The trees. I was just imagining if it was in real life because yes. In the Philippines it's very hot. So trees is very very nice. Anyways, now I'm doing leveled layered stuff and I had quite a little bit of a hard time doing it because I was selecting other like um, networks and other nodes and there was like juvenes and stuff. So I just turned off every like thing snapping and I just selected using the move it tool and the eyedropper to select only the specific kind of specific type of network and for now that is the stone wall and this stone wall is kind of like the stone wall that we do have here but what we do have here is a little bit more darker because of the volcanic rocks the volcanic rocks here are a little bit darker is a picture of that yes the volcanic dark the volcanic rocks are a little bit darker so yeah we have a main like bay walk which is like contiguous it goes straight through the entire waterfront and we have this like a little bit higher level more of a private walk and that goes also it doesn't complete because it stops at the openings because we have a little bit of some openings even though this is a flood protection network but 
If you watch the video by Brock Angles, he's explained it there a little bit better on why there are a little bit of openings because you wouldn't want to block every part of the waterfront off of the off from the you wouldn't want to block the sea off of from the people like in the city you'd also want a little to have a little bit of open space like a view of the water because that would be a little bit claustrophobic but and i also worried about that so i was walking i was in first person again on the boulevard and yeah i thought it was going to be claustrophobic oh my god what if the drivers are like but yeah this this part this part this city is not centered for the drivers because this is like the waterfront and the waterfront is for the people by the people the people's stuff it's connecting the city to the nature to the sea wow so yeah this is like i'm using these uh pedestrian paths the pavements concrete pedestrian paths and i'm just connecting them up and they can be may, made of stairs but yeah it's a little bit hard to work around whether you can see me there struggling and just figuring things out but yeah i'm not quite sure about this like mini amphitheater i don't know like stairs type of walk sitting area because it's, it's a little bit out of place and there's no view you don't have a view there it's just a barren island and i think i'm going to be doing that I think I'm going to be doing a separate island in the future, but I don't think the laptop would be able to handle it. So I think if we do build a secondary city, Magoyan would be have to would have to be um, stripped down. We're going to be so that the skyline would still be visible and the builds would be visible, but we're going to be limiting the stuff there so that yeah, that's a good way. That's imagination, planning, future, teaser, phase seven. <laughs> career career anyways so now i'm putting on these like things beside the stairs there should probably be ramps here but yeah how about the disabled people they're not going to be able to enjoy the water actually they can because yeah we have sloping roads there i, I forgot i really, really forgot there i saw comments from the Famously, the creatively named Magayon Trail. It's so creative. Like I, I, I had 17 hours to plan that, guys. I didn't have. I was thinking, brainstorming, and all that kind of stuff. And I found that Magayon is the perfect one. It was, yeah. I, I didn't have a name. If you guys have any name suggestions for these parts of the city, comment down below because that would surely, sure, surely, shuler surely help the algorithm out. So if you wanna support the channel, comment down below, comment as much as you want so that the algorithm can keep up. Because sadly, the algorithm has not been my friend for a month or so. Because in the past like few videos I did, I was getting a lot of views, but now I'm like, what is happening? Why is it suddenly going down? But yeah, thankfully my subscribers have still been continuously supporting this channel so if you want to support this channel subscribe and turn on the bell notification should you be notified whenever i upload a brand new video and the next one being the one in the there on the right it's like a park connecting the bay walk the waterfront park to the central park which is kind of ugly because I was looking at it after finishing the like park that connected them and I was like oh oh like that if you can see my hand gestures it's me covering my nose like oh it smells bad but it doesn't smell bad if, if my gun was a real place if you were able to smell it through the screen it would smell nice because you'd smell this fresh scent of nature but yeah I'm very lucky that I live so close to nature especially now in this pandemic because people in the city in manila in the metro are not allowed to go outside sadly so yeah they're stuck in their houses and depending on your um uh value of living statue of living like the your lifestyle or your if you're poor or rich it can be a very different experience the pandemic is experienced differently depending on what's you are and what you're in life 
yeah we don't want to get a little bit too philosophical because i don't want to go into too much tangents but yeah i think i've kind of explained everything that i needed to say in this video i'm just gonna be explaining how i built this and more detailing but yeah now we are giving it more of this hilly type of thing and even though i am using the terraforming i actually tried flooding <laughs> The city here's a clip of that here's me trying to flood the city and i was like thinking maybe the flood won't enter and then the water went up and sadly it still went in so disclaimer for those watching this actually doesn't work this is just purely aesthetics which is what most of my bills are they're just purely aesthetics some of them don't work because yeah i want again purely aesthetics let's just imagine that it works because imagination more unlimited imagination is the limit but yeah detailing i had a lot of trials for this episode by the way if you want to watch the live stream because i did tours yeah i toured around the city and i showed future plans so if you want to see the first live stream even though the frame rate is quite bad i don't move that often and the second one i think if you guys want to add like timestamps at the bottom of the video comment down below in the live stream so that's the people like watching back if they have any important things to look at they would know but because i'm a little bit busy right now school we're about to graduate yeah and congratulations to me <laughs> congratulations to me not me being um what do you call the word annoying not not me being the annoying girl in class which is anyways getting back on the video not getting back on my like graduating tangent so i'm about to graduate ging ging i'm going to be graduating from school that's what graduating is i'm in the 12th grade in the final in the senior not senior citizen senior high school and the graduation is in a few weeks and we're going to have our defense yes so watch out for that that's why i i haven't been I even though you guys say that I've been very active in making these videos I, I was actually planning on making three times a week twice a week but yeah I think twice a week is the best one even though it's not consistent I either upload on Tuesdays when or Wednesdays and Fridays and Saturdays that's the two days of the week that I upload in so if you want to see that just stay tuned on Tuesdays Wednesdays or Fridays and Saturdays yeah so two days because I have no concept of time and the time zone things are so messy so I'm just gonna keep it to that it's a little bit better than explaining like Pacific Standard Time 8 p.m. PST you're gonna convert and stuff so just wait for Friday or Saturday because that's the best time that you're gonna be able to watch my videos so yeah node controller best friend and cleaning up the terrain differences with probable surfaces probable grass surfaces and yeah these are amazing again so you know you now see me detail the various different parts what do you call this like pockets i'm gonna call them the pocket pocket pox peepees we gotta have peepees here big peepee small peepee yes pewdiepie pewdiepie anyways we have three peepees here i don't hush but we stop three pockets we have the basketball pocket we have the sitting area pocket on the left of this one the basketball pocket is also like the um cute little marketplace pocket and we have this cute little sitting private area pocket now this entire baywalk is public okay but we have yeah it's a public place but you have a little bit of privacy in some of those areas because it has a lot of foliage and people can't actually see them it, it, you can only see them from one angle so this place is a good place if you're gonna want to go on a dates with your special someone yes yes because in the philippines in our home country yes in our home country yes yes when you go to the waterfront to the sewa you will see a lot of people putting their hands over the shoulder of another people yes it's a sight to see but sometimes when you are lonely it's very angry <laughs> Because you see people enjoying their time, and you're like, why oh, I don't, why why don't I have anyone to like sit beside with, like watch the sunset and smell the sea and see the trash along the waterfront and along the shores? Because sadly, a lot of trash is by the shores. Even though I am in the province, it sucks because yeah, 
trash goes everywhere but thankfully the local government and people our community have done some things to have like cleanup drives every week or something and yeah this pandemic has truly shown what is the current status of the world if you're not if you're still not aware of what things really are i'm sorry yeah anyways speaking of what things really are this is why magion is a little bit more even though a lot of comments have been saying now i'm going to address the comments of the last few episodes people have been asking w- if i would be taking inspiration from manila like specific they would have been commenting if i would be doing specific places and i said guys this is for those of you who are new to this channel, Magayon is a city skyline series loosely inspired by Southeast Asian cities with currently taking inspiration from Manila and the Philippines. We're just taking inspiration. We're not going to be doing specific places. But thank you for your suggestions because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have thought of taking inspiration from your builds and we're going to be building a skulta something like a skulta in the next phase which should be episode 21 which we're rebuilding the old city i think the old city is a separate phase and the next phase after that would be the city across the river tondo and yeah yeah we're not going to be doing manila manila like the old manila it's a manila it's a manila we're going back further into the past and bringing that into the future so it's back to the future baby we're bringing pre-colonial philippines into future philippines so i think magyan is at 2030 right now that's why there's a lot of trees because it's so freaking hot in the city even though what temperature i think it's 20 something 30 degrees celsius in the game but yeah what is the name of the city san vegas <laughs> should probably change that but yeah i think i'm just gonna be adding some trees i added more trees but i've been very careful of the tree so you'd see me like check if it's okay down there connecting down the pathways and i'm just extending the park network even though you i don't get any money off of this once again this is just purely aesthetics we don't have any function here whatsoever financially but yeah, we, we have people going through here and that's all right with me. That's the Magoyan trail that you saw me, I know, but it didn't finish. And I'm just adding in this um, final detail, a roundabout thing for the bike because I'm extending the bike network to in and to inside the city in elevated like the High Line in new york that's the inspiration we're going to be taking from in future farther in the future episodes you see me that it's elevated bike and yeah we're going to be adding a like uh, an iconic structure here because the waterfront is lacking an iconic structure and yeah we're going to be having more iconic structures at the next episode it's not going to be that iconic but yeah i think i've said what i needed to say so yeah this is sadly the end of the video i hope you've enjoyed this as much as i did making it but not so much as doing the first two trials the failed attempts but you know if you want to see because without failure we can't have success or something but yeah if you want to support this channel and stay up to date with all the latest consider subscribing and hit the bell notification so you'd be notified whenever i upload a brand new video also follow me on instagram because that's where i'm so active if you want to see like exclusive um like close-up of magayon go there and if you want to support this channel even more than you already do by subscribing and sharing and commenting and liking go consider subscribing to my patreon at patreon.com slash kalihanjo and get exclusive early access to my content and to a community discord which where, where we can talk all anything and everything magayon but the community discord is still under development so yeah it looks like i am a minute early from the outro so yeah comment down below anything you want to see in the next few episodes and i might use them i might not any suggestion is very helpful yeah i am oh actually i am two minutes early on yeah i'ma just vibe to the music yeah adding lights to the sea
yeah, it doesn't rhyme, can't you see? Yeah, yeah, original song by Kalejandro, detailing the cities. Oh my god, yo, I can't think of yards. Yeah, 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 young money. Thank you for watching. This has been Kalejandro. Yeah, I'm still too early. <laughs> Yes, next episode, big episode. So excited for next episode. And can't wait to work on the old city. I tried like, but anyways. This is Kalihandro. Finally, signing off. Bye!